In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Sisters and brothers, we are meditating together on the second chapter of the Gospel of John, verses first and following. We are at Cana today, Kufur Cana in Galilee, where there is a, a wedding. Actually, the Greek word for wedding is Ramos, but the Aramaic word is Mishtitha. Mishtitha means actually drinking. Etymologically and originally, Mishtitha means drinking, which means that people drank wine uh, during the celebrations of weddings. Actually, celebrations would last for a good seven days. And all of a sudden, there was no wine. Now, the word is Enos, or Ainos, which corresponds to the... Uh, it's an international word, yain, oinos, or inos, vinum in Latin, international, do, to trade. Uh, we would say that uh, the Aramaic word was hamra, and it certainly does not mean just uh, grape juice, but it does mean fermented. Uh, which means with alcohol, because otherwise people would not get drunk, as the chief uh, of the invited people says. Now, drunkenness is forbidden in Christianity, in the church, although drinking wine is allowed. Jesus did drink wine, and Jesus did change the water into wine. Wine, oinos, or inos according to the uh, modern pronunciation. But we are not dealing with this issue. What uh, concerns us here is after the Virgin Mary tells our Lord Jesus Christ, her son, they have no wine anymore, which is a big crisis for a wedding, Jesus answers, Ti emoi kie si soi gunai. This is the Erasmus translation. Today we would read it. Ti emi kiesi yine. Some translators would render it as follows. What is there between you and me? But between you and me should not be the dative, but rather metaxi. Some people even quote Mark. The Gospel of Mark, where the, the demons are saying to Jesus, What is there to us and to you, Jesus of Nazareth? Which means, we have nothing to do with you. We don't want to have anything to do with you. Let us, leave us alone. So, that's Jesus talking to his own mother. Mean this, leave me alone. Does it mean there is nothing between me and you? Well, let's take the first, uh, the first translation. What is there between you and me? Although it's not exact grammatically, it's absurd. It doesn't make sense that a son, especially Jesus, would say to his mother that there is nothing between him and her, or her and him. Now, what is the context here? The context is different, although we might have the same expression as that in Mark, said by the demons to Jesus. The Holy Mother says to Jesus that they do have a problem, the wedding people. They have no wine anymore to offer to the invited people. So, Jesus says, what is there for me, the dative, and for you, 
which means this does not concern me and this does not concern you. Which means this is not our problem, it is their problem. Now, if we want to translate this into Aramaic, it would be Ma li ulechi antat. We have the perfect correspondent in Arabic. Shu ili u shu ilik. Ma li, ma za li, wa ma za laki. Which means, in this problem, in this issue. This is an issue, a problem, a difficulty which does not concern us. What concerns me? What concerns you? If they don't have, or since they don't have wine anymore. This is the context, this is the real meaning of the text in its real context. Somebody even has claimed, has claimed that Jesus would say, would take his distances from his own mother. Of course, this is denied by the rest, because the rest of the story is that Jesus will accomplish exactly what his mother had wished. So, someone said once, it means there is no relationship between you and me, or me and you, you represent the Old Covenant, I represent the New Covenant. Well, this explanation does not have any foundation in the text, and even less in the context. Uh, what does have the lack of wine to do with covenant? Nothing. On the other hand, there is a link between the Old and the New Testament. And precisely Mary, the Virgin Mary, is the link, the physiological link, and St. Joseph is the legal link between the Old and the New Covenant. Now, woman. Woman does not mean contempt. Of course not. Would you want Jesus to, um, not to, to be disrespectful with his mother? Didn't Jesus know the commandment, respect your father and mother? So all these uh, explanations are wrong. Not that we are giving here uh, an arbitrary judgment, but taking things from the text and the context and then the results. Even when Jesus seemed to, to deny his possibility of performing a miracle, well, the Virgin Mary insisted and she did call the stewards, the servants, and when they were in front of him, he did not decline the offer. He didn't say, well, this is not, this is no business of mine, uh, this is none of my business, it's my mother who wanted this, so go to her, nothing. What happens here is that he gives commands to the stewards, and by giving commands, he, is act he was actually obeying his mother. That's what we call also the intercession of the Virgin Mary. So, Jesus, in a, at the first stage, seems to deny, seems to reject, but then, uh, eventually, he fulfills the wish of his mother. Thank you for listening.